Good morning. Good morning. Hey guys, um, this morning I want to speak to you about being conscious in a world that wants you to be asleep. Or not a world, but I would say a country that wants you to be asleep. Um, being conscious and living your life fully, you know, mindful about what you're doing, being conscious about what you're doing is exhausting. Like, literally, it's exhausting. You will go to bed completely wiped out. Um, you know, you won't be falling asleep. You'll be passing out. And it won't be from, you know, extracurricular activities. It will be from, you know, just being mindful in your day, being conscious of your behavior, which being mindful about your food intake and I'm not I don't want you to think about this as you know I am like you're you're hyper aware of yourself that's not it it's not about ego at all and it's not about narcissism at all it is about just being uh kind being mindful about how you're moving how you're relating how you're interacting about what you're eating you know, like back in the day, you used to eat Big Macs, but now you know better, so you're doing better. You don't eat Big Macs, you don't eat Whoppers, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> but, you know, once you know, you know, and there's no going back. Once your eyes are open to a situation or a subject matter, i.e., you know, racism, you know, social justice, mindfulness, um, you know, all the all the ism brothers coming up in here playing on you. Racism, sexism, socialism, um, uh, gender issue, you know, all of that. Um, once you have an idea about it and you've seen behind the curtain, there's no going back. Um, when you know better, you do better, right? Um, like, for instance with your healing a lot of us are very impatient with our healing uh, we want to get over something quickly we w or we want to reap the benefits of something very quickly and be seen as um you know grown be seen as a spiritual person be minded but that takes time your healing and your growth takes time and you might think oh there's nothing happening you might think oh this is taking too long. What am I going to do? But there's always something happening. It's like in birth when I'm telling my clients um, just, you know, that there's something happening. They're like, this is taking too long. Nothing's happening. I'm never going to have this baby. First of all, you're going to have the baby, right? And second of all, something is happening. You just can't see it. Sometimes it's like, for instance, I'll tell a client, a mama, a pregnant mama, I'll say, Sometimes it's your turn to do the physical, and sometimes it's the baby's turn to do the physical. And sometimes it's your body's turn to do the physical. So when you think nothing is happening because it's not happening out here to you, that's not necessarily the truth. It might be happening internally. Like with nature, seeds and plants. You know, you put a seed in there and you're watering and you're like, well, what's happening? Where is it? Nothing's happening. But there is something happening. It's just not able to be seen by you, you know, you, you can't see that the seed is cracking open. You can't see what's happening when the water combines with the nutrients in the soil and the sun is filtering in to it. You can't see the first shoots coming out and the roots taking hold. You can't see all that, but it's happening, right? It's definitely happening. And, um, that's the same with your healing, your growth. You just, you have to be patient because sometimes when you, what you're not seeing is the most important piece. It's that foundation piece that's going to give you all the nutrients and the strength and ground you in your growing process. So I'm going to just say, to sum it up, be patient with yourself. Sometimes you can't see what's happening, but it's happening. And being conscious in the world takes courage and a lot of focus. <laughs> okay, that's all I got for you guys today. You have a beautiful day. I love you. Bye.